Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to test out a really simple idea for catching mice. Over 50 YouTube viewers sent me a link to a video that was posted seven years ago and has over 2 million views titled Homemade Mousetrap Bull of Oil. People want to know if this works. In the video description, they tell a story where they had some extra cooking oil. They left it in a bowl on the counter overnight, and when they came back in the morning, there was three mice trapped in it. The walls were too slippery and they couldn't jump out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a bowl here. I have some peanut oil. We're going to pour just enough in there that they'll be slippery but they can't get out. Then we'll set up the motion cameras and see what happens. Now I'm assuming the mice will come, be curious, jump down in the little bowl, be caught in the oil, they'll get all slippery, they'll try to get out, try to jump, they can't. Then in the morning we can see what we have. So let's go test this out. I have a barn with a lot of mice. Let's see if they like peanut oil. When I first saw the video for the bull of oil mousetrap, I thought it might be a hoax. It didn't seem like it would work that well. But after testing it out, this thing is the real deal. It's so simple, all you need is a shallow bowl, a little bit of cooking oil, and in one night I was able to get seven mice. That's incredible. Usually in my videos I'm catching wild deer mice, but the barn has recently been infested with house mice. These are a non-native species, but because this is a live animal trap, I'm not going to let them go. I'm going to clean them up and keep them as pets and use them for future Mousetrap Monday videos where we test out live animal traps. So let's go clean these guys up and put them in their new home. We're now ready to clean up our mice that are covered in oil. I have a shallow tote here with a little bit of water in there. And to the water, I'm going to add a little dish soap that should wash off the oil. This brand even says it helps save wildlife. So I'll give it a squirt, mix that up a little bit, and then add our mice. It's shallow enough they don't have to swim and as they move around that soap should wash off the oil. These mice are really exhausted from being in the oil all night. I built them a little nest so they can rest, recover, and dry out. I'll give them some food and water and you'll see them in future videos helping us test out live catch mouse traps for Mouse Trap Monday. I never thought a bowl with a little bit of cooking oil in it would work so well for a mouse trap, but it does. I'm posting between four and five videos a week testing out rodent traps. So if you want to see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.